show some of the beautiful people here. I know that there's a good crowd again, as always, out. This has been a, a, an, an amazing kind of impact on the town. Everybody has sort of supported that I've ever uh, that I've met that knows about it, knows what's going on. A few little things that we, we, we I know talking to Colin and, and others that, that certainly there's a few things that would want to be said. Firstly, thanks I think to, to there's been oh, so many absolutely yeah. People, people are dropping, dropping up food and, and the man stopped us there the other night. Bags and chips and <laughs> it's great and we were absolutely starving. It was brilliant there. It was great community spirit and like the shop units now are still open in Tesco and we are not right. stopping anybody going in or out of them True. and like we don't want to, this to affect their business they have nothing to do with Tesco they right. they need to earn their living as well so we're sure. not stopping anybody going into any of the shop units we are right. dispute is with Tesco and no one else now the one thing that I, I kind of uh, I think happens in these situations is that you know no, it is it is a, a sad thing and somebody has to protest for, for simple rights and it is a Certainly, a shift in, in in corporations where they want to go to the zero hour world, where nobody's got any kind of rights or nobody's got any kind of certainty about their job. So, I think that another thing to reiterate is just how important this is. Even though people are in good spirits, and it seems, you know, at times like almost, you know, because everyone's supporting it and food coming is like a picnic, but. The, at the core of this is a very very important uh, nobody wants to be out here striking we'd all rather be inside doing our, our day's work but like we're not going to bow down and just lie down and let them change our hours I'm 21 years here like and I've worked here since I've been in school right. like I've came from work I went to school in Bray and I used to come here 5 to 10 in the evenings and then I've done my weekends and I've done like I have family circumstances everyone has all their own yeah. circumstances and all but like you can't lie down and just let them walk all over you. Like there's people in there that are more money than I'm on, and I'm here longer than them. But like it's nothing to do with money at the end of the day. We just want our terms and conditions left alone. Like, right, right, do you know what I mean? We will keep up with this. I would imagine that that certainly the effect has been huge. I was passing here at about quarter to eight last night. There was one car in the car park. I think Tesco, for many different reasons, but ultimately the, just the rights of the of the, of the worker. I would hope that and imagine they would get onto this this week because it's, it's, it's been huge on the country and certainly in places like this the impact is, 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 is uh, enormous. Have you got optimism about the week? Do you think the week well, ahead? They're, uh, they're balloting 25 more stores tonight so with right. the result of that I'd say Tesco are waiting for the result of that and then after that they'll just decide to go into discussions. Well they said they're going to go into discussions on Tuesday but I'd say they're waiting for the results of them stores right. to see what the outcome of them are. Well, fingers crossed. I, I think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a hugely uh, supported in the town, and let's just hope that the right, the right things are done here. Yeah, hopefully. 